Well, good evening to you tonight. Almost one year after a massive tornado swept through central Arkansas, the rebuilding process remains ongoing. In Little Rock, one of the areas hit hardest was along Cantrell Road. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham spoke with a few businesses impacted in that area about where they are today. Ashley. Yeah, Chris Beth, the pavilion in the park was in the direct line of the storm, leaving several of these businesses here uh, having to close their doors for several months. I spoke with them on where they are now and what the future holds for the pavilion. Pavilion in the park, a place where several local businesses have made a name for themselves in Little Rock. Business came to a halt for almost two months due to the destruction of March 31st. Bowman's was one caught in that halt. That really, that was a painful thing because in retail, it's not like uh, you can, you don't get the time back. For that month and a half when we were closed, we just sort of did the best we could to service those customers that had things on order. Brian Cook with Bowman's says they, along with several others, are open for business and have been for several months now. Jeff Yates says for the past year, while many of the businesses stayed. A couple of the businesses in Pavilion in the park basically moved from uh, the suite they were in to a suite that was undamaged or less damaged. There were some uh, businesses that that chose not to come back, uh, and that, that certainly is, is understandable. Yates says getting construction started was a slow process, but currently they are moving forward with that aspect, and they are in talks with businesses interested in setting up shop. Pavilion in the park is at a point now where we, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, we expect that by the end of the year, it'll be substantially rebuilt. And within a year, it'll be uh, grand reopening. Cook says so far, business for them has been good since reopening. and says their loyal customers kept them afloat. But he hopes to see the pavilion come alive with more foot traffic in the near future. A place to go and have a coffee, a place to go and uh, have a workout, a place to go and uh, sit for a little while. These are all opportunities to... to kind of polish it up a little bit because it's a great spot. There's not another uh, uh, there's not another spot for us in town that would have the advantages uh, in terms of traffic and, and visibility that this does. Uh, Yates says they are currently speaking to six businesses that are interested in setting up shop here in the pavilion and those businesses range anywhere from retail services to office spaces. Uh, in Little Rock on your side, I'm Ashley Lunning. All right, Ashley, thanks a lot. Pavilion in the park is still looking for businesses interested in moving into the building. There is not a grand reopening date set at this time.